Hey, what's going on? Luke here, and we are back on Rebel League Live 4. We're here to see what Rebel League Live 4 thinks is going to happen in the 2024 NRL Final Series. Now, obviously, you're seeing on the screen right now the eight teams. I can't really do an exact competition on Rebel League Live 4, so we're going to have to do a little workaround where we do a little bit of a season, and I'll take, you know, whoever's supposed to be the home team, and I'll look at that game and all that sort of stuff. I'll explain as we go, but we've got the Storm, we've got the Panthers, the Roosters, the Sharks, Cowboys, Bulldogs, Sea Eagles, and the Knights, and it should be a great final series. Obviously, I'm wearing a Bulldogs jersey. A little bit of controversy around the dogs at the moment. Josh had a car. I've gone ahead and I've changed all the teams to what I would deem as their strongest finals team. For example, Bulldogs, no Josh had a car. I don't think he'll play a part in the final series. Obviously, all the injuries and stuff as well. For the Panthers, Nathan Cleary back in. For the Bruces, plenty of injuries. Uh, Jarabia Hargreaves misses the first game, but I've chucked him into the team for the overall final series. So... Uh, you just have to bear with me. Obviously, injuries and stuff is going to happen, but I think this is going to be a fun little video to see what Rub League Live 4 thinks, so let's get into it. Now, what you got to notice is that the score lines are probably going to be a little bit whack, but the first game of the final series is the Storm and Sharks, and the Sharks actually pick up a victory 6-4. to four. Obviously, you can sort of take into account what the score line would be, but Rub League Live 4 thinks that the Sharks are going to win this one. Very interesting. I don't see it happening at all. So that means the Sharks get a week off. Obviously, the Storm go into an elimination game next. In the second game, a very interesting one. It is the North Queensland Cowboys up against Newcastle Knights, a home game. Don't know if this was a golden point. I don't know what it was, but a one-point victory for the Cowboys. So that means that the Knights are the first team eliminated. The Cowboys moving on. They'll actually be taking on the Melbourne Storm. It should be a huge game. Cowboys have a very strong team, especially in Rebel League Live 4. So I'm expecting big things from the Cowboys. Renowned to be a great team. You know, from the time this game came out to the time right now... Always very, very solid. Such a good four-pack. Backs are pretty good. Uh, you know, halves are half decent. Yeah, the Knights, very, very close there. Crossing gets two, Marji one. But in the end, it is Valier and Felt getting them home. Val Holmes with a field goal. So the Cowboys progress to the elimination final. Well, another elimination final for them. Every final's elimination. Ah, this is not what I wanted to see. But you know what? Somewhat expected is the Manly Sea Eagles defeating the Bulldogs, eliminating the Doggies. Uh, I'm not doing it in order, I'm just going with uh, the little sheet that I'm looking at, but yeah, it is the Dogs being eliminated, Bronson Sterry picking up a try there, uh, Matty Burton two goals, but it is a Luke Brooks masterclass by the looks of things, Tommy Talao, Kula, Ola Kawatu getting the job done for the Sea Eagles, so the Sea Eagles move on to another elimination game. And the last game of week one of the final season, the Penrith Panthers defeating the Sydney Roosters, I can definitely see this. I think this is going to be a fantastic game in real life, but it's Alamonte and Targo scoring tries. Nathan Cleary, man of the match performance, kicking the goals as well. 12 to 6, low scoring. All these going to be low scoring just with how the game simulates and that sort of stuff. So just keep that in mind. But that means that the Penrith get a week off. So them and the Sharks get the week off according to Rebel League Live 4. The Storm and Roosters go into the second chance week. Uh, taking on Manly for the Roosters. And then for the Storm taking on the Cowboys. So now on to the elimination games. The first one is the Melbourne Storm and the Cowboys. And as you can see, the Cowboys convincing winners in Melbourne. This is extremely surprising. I'm not going to lie. Storm out and straight sets according to Rebel League Live 4. Cowboys obviously going into the finals in a lot of good form. And... In terms of just name value, the Cowboys have a very, very strong side. And we'll have a little look. Lukey's there. And Valet A, he keeps having great performances. I will assure you, he's not super high rated. So how he keeps doing this, I'm not sure. Robson, New South Wales, drink water, great. Carl Felt, obviously Carl Felt. Uh, Tumblr, they're probably two guys who may be higher rated on Rebel League Live for them, what they probably should be. Maybe a Clifford as well. Yeah, Kota, Talangi. Nanai, like, it's it's such a strong side, honestly. And then you can kind of get a gauge of the sides that they're fielding, but 16-6 victors, easy win for them. And honestly, another shocker. This is another top four team that's out in straight sets. It's the Sydney Roosters losing to the Seagulls. Hopper Whitey with the try, Garrick with the goal, and a field goal. 7-0, again, I just want to stress that these, the score lines aren't really important. It's just who they actually think is going to win. You know, it seemed like a pretty even sort of game, but... You know, with, with, with how I've seen how the, the game, I've simulated like the whole season and sort of stuff. I I suspect Manly might win this comp, according to Rebel League Live 4. That's my little prediction here. Uh, Manly eliminate the Roosters. Cowboys eliminate Storm. The top four, you know, obviously the whole thing in terms of real life is that if you get top four, that's your best chance of winning the comp. But according to Rebel League Live 4, maybe not. Also worth noting is both of these sides were the away team too. And they've gone... 
to the home grounds of these teams and they've absolutely smacked them. So that means we see the Sharks host the uh, the Sea Eagles with a home game uh, elimination final, obviously. And then also means we see the Panthers hosting the Cowboys. So this could be very interesting. What I feel like this is going to be Manly and Cowboys and probably Glyph will just be way off. I knew it. I knew it. Manly have progressed to the grand final according to Rubbly Glyph 4. There is no way. There is no way Manly made the grand final in real life. There's just no chance. No chance. I'm sorry, man. Don't give you false hope here. I feel like last year you did a very similar thing. Rebel League Live 4, when you actually play out the games, you can so sort of get like a similar sort of output. But this is this is ridiculous. Manly, bottom eight side, losing by 40 points going into the finals. Just absolutely decimating teams in here. The Sharks are eliminated. Manly move on to the grand final. Gary Kapawadi, Jake Chaboyevich, Ruben Garrick with one goal, actually. They could have even smacked them by more. Three tries to two. Um, yeah, Sharkies, what's going on? Honestly, this would actually be a good matchup to me for the Sharks. So, if this was, if it ever a time for the Sharks to win a premiership, it would have been here. And that leaves the Panthers up against the Cowboys. I am very, very nervous. This is, I'll show you how I'm actually doing this one. So, I need to find the Panthers. Obviously, there's the Panthers there. I need them on the left, because that's their home game, right? Take on the Cowboys, so we go and find them. Panthers, where is Panthers and Cowboys? Panthers, Panthers, Panthers. You're going to see on the right why I think. The Seagulls may be the team to beat. There we go. Penrith Panthers defeat the North Queensland Cowboys in a do-or-die game. Moving to their, was it like their fifth? Fifth, fourth grand final in a row. Three in a row, looking for a fourth. Uh, sorry, their fifth grand final, right? Is, yes. Fifth grand final in a row, fourth grand final, possible victory. To River with a try as he moves on. Brian Toto there, Nathan Cleary, two goals to nil. Brian Toy, man of the match. This is this is crazy. Manly up against the Panthers. Who'd have thought? Probably Guy Four seems to think so. I think this is no chance of happening. Um, yeah, I think Panthers can definitely make the final. I don't think Manly. I think Manly making up the numbers to be honest, but remains to be seen. I could be wrong. So how I've been doing this is that okay here. Panthers defeat the Sea Eagles eight to four, but that's not what we're going for. I need the Sea Eagles. They are going to be the first team according to the NRL calculator thing. So the Manly first team. Panthers second team, we'll see what it comes up with. We will see. I need the Manly as the first one. I'm nervous. I kind of want Penrith to win just for some realistic sort of stuff, but I suspect that they won't. I suspect that Manly going to win this one. Manly. There we go. Wow, Penrith Panthers. They've done the double on Manly. Home and away in the grand final. They have defeated the Manly Seagulls 12 to 6. I did not see that coming, especially when I saw that the overall season Manly were the top team. I thought... No way, no way. My dog is in last, as expected. Uh, Okawachi scores a try, Garrett kicks the goal, but it is Taruva and Alamonte scoring tries, clear kicking both the goals. You can see the teams, uh, Liam Martin, man of the match there, I can see that. Fisher Harris is very strong too in his farewell game. Okawachi definitely has been standing up as of late. Tommy Salah has been very good signing for them this season. Very underrated signing, I will say. I just want to point that out. Joe Trebojevic, cool art. Looks like Tom Trebojevic didn't do too much um, in terms of minutes and that sort of stuff. I mean, all the normal ones there. Matt Lodge plays the whole game. Crazy stuff. Uh, and yeah, for the for the Penrith side, again, another one of just the usuals. Um, stepping up most of the go to end. Both the props playing 80 minutes. That's crazy scenes. Um, obviously, this isn't going to be super realistic. If you're looking for a super realistic simulation, Rubber League Life 4 is not it. You're at, you're at the wrong place for this one, but... Manly make it to the grand final, falling just short to the Penrith Panthers. They just hit four in a row. Honestly, four in a row. That is that is crazy. It was it was crazy for them to go back to back, let alone three in a row, let alone four in a row. But that's exactly what Rebel League Live Four thinks will happen. And honestly, I'm not even I'm not even writing that off as a uh, you know as not happening in real life. I honestly think they are the team to beat. Final experience. Everything kind of alludes to the fact. That either them or the Storm will be the ones to beat. And uh, they've got the final experience too. So I can't see a reason why this isn't the actual like the actual answer. And I'm kind of glad, like I said, that you know some realism. Seagulls, a nice sort of run from the bottom eight. Uh, but it isn't meant to be for them. Panthers picking up the victory. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to win? Is Rugby League Life all way off? I mean, I can see here like... The actual ladder, I'll show you this real quick. I mean, who's got the most tries in that? Who's got the most tries? Where's the tries? Uh, like, Lukey has the most tries. Robin Bess. It's kind of all the ones who went in deep into the finals and that sort of stuff. But uh, this is 
literally how... I mean, let's just simulate this. If it actually played out, how, you know, it was there. Let's, let's see who wins this one. Bam, 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 bam. All right, doggies lost. Storm Roosters. Manly went straight through. Bam, bam. Ended up with the final that we all thought. And Manly actually won that one. But, you know, obviously it's, it's a whole different system than what I normally do. But, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Who do you think actually wins this one? Uh, you see the form. Dogs got towed up. Nice didn't fare too much better. Cowboys, you know, they're not terrible. But, yeah, like, the ones who were good, they were really good. The Eagles and, and Panthers. Even the Sharks were actually quite strong. Storm quite strong. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts of the final series? Great really life for compared to real life. Let me know what are your thoughts. Well, that's the end of this video. If you happen to enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. You know the drill at this point. Everybody YouTuber says it. Just go ahead and do it. It'd really help me out. Also, why not go ahead and check out some of these other videos that are on the screen right now.